Here's a worksheet on rational inequalities for you to practice. I have carefully taken four questions. All are very different kind of questions here. Okay, I'd like you to make a note of all these four questions. Write down their solutions, right? And then you can check the solutions from my videos. So following this video, I have four videos which provide you with my suggestions and solutions on these four inequalities. Now, these four questions, which may look very simple, they are simple mainly because I want you to teach you a concept here with every question, right? This is the time to learn the concepts. Now, question number one is x squared over x plus 3 less than 9 over x plus 3. Make a note of this question. Question B is 4 over x greater than or equal to 3 over x squared. C is here we have already given you a rational function in the factored form. It is 5 times x minus 1 times x plus 4 over x squared times x minus 3 less than or equal to 0. And the last is x minus x plus 6 over x plus 2 greater than or equal to 0. Now this one is not given you in factored form. You have to take common denominator, right? expand and then factor the numerator. Correct. So that is how these four questions are. They are kind of different in a way. So when you solve it, you will learn that this is reduces to a linear function, right? And uh, here we are already given you factors, and here you need to factor. And that is what you normally do in solving any inequality, right? Few words of caution. Whenever you are doing inequalities, first thing you should write is restrictions. You should note whenever you read, for example here x cannot be minus 3. First thing is you should write restriction. Okay. Here x cannot be equal to 0. Even if it, you know, when you solve you may sometimes get 0 in your solution set but you cannot include that in your solution since 0 will make it undefined. Restrictions x is not minus 2, x is not 0 or x is not 3, right? That is kind of very important for you to write. So first thing, write down restrictions. Second thing is never cross multiply. Don't do that. Or canceling these things, right? So do not cross, do not. So amongst do not cross multiply, right? Don't do that. As you do it in equations, you are not allowed here. Otherwise, you'll get wrong answers. So do not cross multiply, right? That is one thing do not do. And I will also say do not cancel, right? Cancel at this stage when they are on the opposite side of inequalities. Whenever you have or on what I'm trying to say is do not cancel 1x with this. Do not cancel x plus 3 with x plus 3, right? Don't do that. Right? So don't do that. And what do? Do write restrictions, right? And then solve your problem. That should be the base for doing this, right? I hope you understand. Make a copy solve these questions and then check your answer from my videos great thank you all the best